with food now. King Charles is preparing to launch his first major project as monarch this autumn, a national scheme to tackle food insecurity and waste. The initiative will work with families, supermarkets and charities to make sure food which is normally thrown away will instead be reused or go to those in need. With an estimated 1.3 billion tonnes of food wasted globally each year, it's an area the King is apparently deeply passionate about. His Queen Consort was championing one of her own causes today as she was joined by children and the elderly for a tea party and poetry recital in West London. Next week will mark a year since Charles became King and the causes he and Camilla choose to champion will help determine their popularity as monarchs. Now, this is a great cause for him to be championing. Mm -hmm. uh, definitely want to cut down food waste. We definitely want food to go to people that need it the most. And there's lots of things that he can do around this. I mean, he has got tons of land. You know, let's turn that over to people that can mm. farm and can farm sustainably and make sure people get the food that they need. But I think a lot of people will think that this is a bit rich mm coming from someone who quite literally hosts like lavish banquets at palaces. And also let's remember that he has to be an apolitical figurehead. He can't really get involved in politics, can't really have an opinion on anything. So yes, it's a good cause for him to champion, but he has to be able to toe a line and also do it in a way that's not condescending and yeah. is effective. How many discarded <laughs> roast hogs Go into, the, <laughs> go into the palace bins after one of those massive I, I, I think it's How many herd. tons of broccoli, potatoes, Lord knows how much wine? Actually, we know from people who've worked for him that this is something that he is, to their sort of p pulling their hair out, to their detriment, something that he has been passionate about for ages. Like, he, go, he literally has been known to go through the bins. He is... Really? He is obsessed with food waste and with all sorts of waste. And yet, I mean, we all know famously he never has lunch and he sticks to his 11 stone four, you know, so his own dietary, he's obsessed with his own diet and his own weight and his own, you know, he has the same breakfast every day. Do you think he has his two, breakfast he has every two day meat free is, days. Do you think week? his breakfast is bubble and squeak every single day with an egg on top for special occasions? It's a bubble and egg. squeak. It's a poached egg. Poached egg. But I'm just Every thinking day. of Bobble and Squeak poached just being egg. leftovers. He has Every a dinner, day. though. Yeah, I'm fascinated. He, has, he, ha he also has high tea. He has a five o'clock snack. He has no lunch. Yeah. He has a five o'clock snack, and then he has dinner. And then he works... High tea? Night. How high is the tea? I don't think stinky high. I think, like... <laughs> Yeah. Sandwiches. Yeah. Yes, little finger sandwiches. Yeah. And things, the scones. Things like that. Yes, I love how yeah. we both assume he says scones as yes. opposed to scones. Yes. He definitely like, won't say scones. No, he said no, he definitely wouldn't say no. <laughs> fastest, which ruins the joke about the fastest cake in the shop being a scone. Scone! Uh, coming up. <laughs>